Welcome, it's an Amuse Realme 5 Pro and today I will show you a couple of tweaks and tricks that you can do on this device. So, getting straight to it, uh, there is a shortcut for three finger uh, split screen. So, when you open an app, for instance, let's open Chrome, um, let's record this. So, you swipe up like so and now the app is in split screen so we can now choose another app to open up so let's open up opera because we limit ourselves to one browser when you can have two and okay cool and now we can use two different apps at the same time so as you can see both of them are working just fine so let's close this now as you can see once you try to close it it will still be open in here now let's actually go into here and there we go and now it's closed so the next thing i want to show is the gesture navigation so to enable it let's go into the settings and from settings we're going to go into convenience aid so let's find that convenience aid there we go navigation keys and here at the top you will have swipe gestures from both sides. So this one is in my opinion the best one. Uh, it includes the swiping back from sides. As you can see when I swipe you have this um, this arrow. Now if you hold it for a longer it also uh, brings up the uh, last app which as you can see it's Chrome. So if I let go now it would open up Chrome. If you just swipe up and let go now before the Chrome appears it just goes back. And then you have the home uh, home to swipe up as long as I can actually grab it from the bottom. So let me just lift it up. So there we go, that's home. And swipe up and hold will bring up recent. And you can all see it right here on this nifty little animation if you're interested how it exactly works. Now you also have this one which is uh, kind of like the buttons but a little bit modified. Instead of buttons you have basically like three bars that are barely visible here I don't think may might not even be visible uh, but it creates three bars instead of the buttons and it still works the same way so swipe up to go home um, swipe up and hold to go into recent and then swipe from either side so like either here or up or there uh, to go back now personally I'm not a fan of these uh, it kind of misses the opportunity just to swipe from sides which in my opinion is way nicer a place to be swiping back from feels more natural okay so moving on we're gonna go into the uh, kid space which simply allows you to create a space that is uh, a bit limited i would say so let's go back into the main settings page right here so i can actually show exactly what it does uh, now for this you will need to have a some kind of protection of your device, so pen, pattern, password, whatever, whatever it is, uh, for it to actually work properly or work at all. And it's going to security. So there it is. And from here, let's get space and enter. Actually, before you actually type in enter, you have a couple. Um, options right here so duration allowed each time so when you tap on it you have a couple uh, options that you can choose from so you have 15 30 1 hour 2 3 or uh, unrestricted so choose how, how many hours the kid space can be used for and basically after those uh, this time passes whatever you set here uh, the device will lock then you have apps allowed to be accessed so in here you can choose whichever apps uh, can be accessed so if, kid, if the child likes to play for instance games you can then enable a couple of games that you wish to for them to access so like i just keep it as it is right now um so now that i have added five apps uh, then we can tap on enter kid space and actually before i do i have to set up a pass uh, passcode because i do not have any Otherwise, um, otherwise this doesn't really make sense. So let's draw the pattern, redraw it, 
and there we go so now i have set a pattern that i will need to use to actually also unlock my device so now this is the git space and it can be accessed at the moment i think i kept it on 30 minutes so after 30 minutes of being on this space the device will basically lock and you'll have to you will have to put in a pattern so just leave it and there we go so you'll have to put in the pattern like i do right now and if i remember correctly you can i believe add a git space right here as a toggle um, let's try to edit this yep there it is so you can grab this for instance drag it over here done and now you can quickly access it by just tapping on it and you can see that's it there is nothing else apart from the five apps that were specified uh, that i have added and you can only access these for the specific amount of time now this time resets every time you basically enter kid space and to leave it you also need to confirm because this goes back to the normal place where nothing is really restricted so moving on we're gonna go into the game space uh, keeping on with the with the games um, and this just simply allows you to have a little bit more performance uh, in gaming uh, by restricting for instance background apps uh, so let's actually open it up Rest the app. So there it is, game space is black. So once you tap on it, game boosting performance. Um, you have dual screen uh, operation effect, then go enter game space. And you will see here all the games that are on the device. Um, and you can launch them from here. And once you do, it will limit a bunch of other things in the background so the game itself runs better. Now can also do a couple of things so for instance in the settings hide game icons on the home screen so I find this really useful if you enable this you will have the apps right here right but if you go I could actually swipe up there we go. but if I go back out of the app the only thing remaining is the game space and it looks like a couple apps that were not recognized by the app itself. So you have PES, Fortnite, and GTA that did not get picked up, but rest, as you can see, is in here. And if you, I believe, add other apps, for instance, there we go, oops, cancel, uh, there we go. Add this, this, and this, I believe that this will basically hide them as well from your um, home screen and let's see it's the only one left as you can see so it does hide the apps as well so it just allows you to have also a cleaner uh, system overall and once you want to actually play some games you can launch the game space from there from here basically and you'll get better performance because of it as well and the last thing that I wanted to show is the dark mode. So let's go into the settings. Scroll all the way down to uh, Real Me Lab. And here we have the dark mode. Tap on it and it shows you kind of what a difference you're looking at. So once you enable it, everything goes black and everything will be in this dark theme. Um, so you can, in my opinion, it looks nice. So that includes search bar, bars, um, your contacts, and majority of other apps. Now, not all the apps will be supported by this. They, so not everything will have this dark mode. Some apps that you open will have still white background. Um, and the only thing you can hope for is that the developer of the app will implement it so it works along with the Android. But yeah. That is the last one. So if you found any of these tweaks and tricks helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.